There she is, caught near the Cortina. Today I'm going to take a look at the interior and start removing the interior. So, let's have a look. Ooh. Where do I start? I'll start by removing all of this. I'll be back with you shortly. These uh, seats need a good clean. My partner can do that with a jet wash. Ooh. All of this. This is really bad. Definitely needs a new floor pan. Yeah. Just getting guys to go through the floor. Ah, <laughs> oh, dry me air. Yeah, pretty filthy in here. I'm gonna bring you back when I've removed the seats and the carpet and see what we have left of the floor. But, yeah, it's gonna be a big job. Back short though. I don't think it's gonna take much to remove these seats. I, f I would say, I could just pull them off the floor. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But nothing that can't be sorted. Yeah. The bits are not too bad. That is pretty good. That should, should, all that should clean up. Uh, all those holes all up there. I think the dash is going to have to come out of here. At these seats. I'm going to try and save these and get my partner to jet wash them because there's no no rips in them right let's get all this interior out I've took the back seat off and this is what I'm revealed <laughs> support's gone so if anybody's got one of these, let me know. And this is, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Not so bad on this side. So. This, there is some solid metal still here. Somewhere. <laughs> But yeah, definitely need one of these support brace bars. So let me know if you've got one and I'm gonna continue taking this interior out. Don't even need to unbolt the seat belts because they've took themselves out. So yeah, I'll be back when I've took everything out. I've took the uh, seats out, the front ones. There was only two bolts holding in the driver's side and it actually let me undo them. Unfortunately, this carpet cannot be saved. It's rotten. So, gonna have to get a new carpet. 
And from what I can see, I'm going to need a front support as well. Or possibly at least R, depending on the other side. So, get in there. A lot of work ahead of me. So, I'm going to go and take this carpet out and I'll be back with you and then and clean up all this all this rubbish good air vents there aren't they keep your feet water chilled <laughs> yeah a lot a lot of work and I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. So, back with you when I've took this carpet out. This is where I've got up to so far. Uh, it's where the seat's supposed to be bolting to. All the way across so far. Oh. And this is supposed to be connected to the bulkhead. It's fell off. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be fun. Finish cleaning up all the rubbish that's in here. This is going to be the side that I start repairing, the driver's side. On a good note, there's still loads of strong metal in here. I need to weld the new floor pan too. So. I might get away with just changing, <coughs> cutting this in half, just changing the one side. Or try and get a whole new piece. So I'll finish cleaning up and vacuum all the rust out and start cleaning off all this underlay stuff. Get all of this off and see what we'll what we've truly have got to work with. Well better than I thought it was gonna be to be fair. <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Well, I started cleaning it all out. I'm just sweeping it up a bit and then I've got to uh, try and vacuum some of it up. There is a lot of good metal for me to work with. I'm sorry about filming in uh, portrait mode. My daughter just told me off. I was holding the camera wrong. <laughs> Yeah, this is what we've got so far. I'm even risking my life standing in here. <laughs> Dramatic. Um, what do I think so far? Uh, definitely doable. Definitely. There's still a lot of good metal in here still. It's going to need inner and outer sills and floor pans. Definitely, but looking at the back up here, it's quite solid. So definitely got a lot to work with, which is good news. And the the tunnel is still solid. So all I gotta do is just get a couple of floor pans, inner sills, outer sills, and obviously. All of that's got to be sorted. I don't think you can get the footwell panel, floor panels. I think I'd have to make them myself. I could be wrong, but that'll be easy to do anyway. So, today's video has been all about the interior. Removing the seats, the carpet. 
and just looking at the floor. And so far, I'm happy. I've got a lot of good metal to work with. This side isn't as bad as the driver's side. The driver's side is terrible. Let's see if I can stand in a safe place. It's definitely going to need these support braces in the middle. I need these braces, or at least the driver's side end piece. The rear, that's going to need replacing. It's too, too far gone, that has. Passenger side's not too bad. But if I can just get the end piece, I could probably salvage this bit. But that is the driver's side. It is pretty much fell out itself. I ain't got much removing to do with that. So it's all looking good. Looking very promising. Um, I mean, it ain't gonna take long for me to do that. As I said, I'm gonna start on the driver's side first, do the floor pan, repair the, f the floor up there. Uh, and then after I've done that, I'll start working on the passenger side. I don't want to take too much of the car off. I want to keep as much support as I can. So by just starting on the driver's side, it keeps the rest of it, the rest of the strength there. And then once the driver's side's done, I'll then move on to the passenger side. I've got to try and keep as much strength in this car as possible. I don't want to be removing too much. And I'll, I'm going to vacuum the floor now. I'll sweep up and vacuum the floor. And then I'll bring you back for a final look. And then hopefully in the next video, I will be stripping under the engine bay by the, the top of the bulkhead to see how bad that is under there. And uh, start thinking about what I want to do with that. I know I'm going to have to take the dash out and the dash frame to get to the bulkhead properly. But it's nowhere as bad as I thought it would be. Once I start digging into it. So, good news all round. This car will definitely be going back on the road. I don't care how much money it costs me. It's all about saving an existing Cortina. I mean, I could have probably bought one in better condition. But what's the point in that? The idea is, is to save an existing one. Keep an extra one on the road. Not only that, this is a beautiful car, this is. It's got a lot of potential. Anyway, enough waffling on. <laughs> I will bring you back when I have swept, vacuumed, and took the rest of the um rest of this stuff off. And we'll have a proper look. And then I'll have to start going online and ordering my floor pan. I'm gonna as I said, do the driver's side first. So, driver's side, floor pan, inner sill, outer sill. Get that all done and strong. I may have to put... I don't know. Because the chassis rail is literally in half. So, I'm going to have to order the driver's side one of them. So, I'm get that in the same time as the floor. To get that strength back in there. I don't want to be putting a new floor pan in with that chassis rail rotten. So I'm going to remove that and put the the new one in place, and then I'll obviously I'll have something to put the new floor down on then to keep it all in place. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. This is this car deserves it. Yeah, well I'll bring you back when I've finished cleaning the floor up.
Yep, lots more of that to do. I never thought that I'd be vacuuming a Cortina up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do all that, vacuum it, and I'll bring it back. Right, I'm back. I've uh, finished for today. <sighs> this is what we have. I haven't finished taking all that floor stuff off yet, but this is what we have left. Not too bad, the chassis rail has gone in half there. It's fell in, it's completely in half. And I've started cleaning all that up and it's not that bad. We've still got loads of good mess, metal on this tunnel, loads of it. So a floor pan will definitely go in there easily. Um, so once I've uh, ordered them parts, I will get straight onto that. So in the next video, I will start taking the air box out for the, from the bulkhead. Um, see what needs doing under there. I've got a bad feeling it's going to be pretty bad. I'm sure I'll sort it. But as of in here, I am 100% happy. There's loads of good metal. Um, my vacuum cleaner there, believe it or not, is half full of Cortina. Better in there though, than in here. Because if it's in there, then it's less rust in here, isn't it? <laughs> so, let me know what you think. I'm gonna call it a day today and get back on it as soon as possible and hopefully get another video out for you lot, for you guys. I mean, if you wanna support me and the Cortina, Courtney, please like and subscribe as it'll help, help me out. If I do start making anything on YouTube, it'll all go back into the Cortina. But this is where we're at. Good day's work. Yeah. Um, definitely need to find either another half of this. You know, if anyone's got a piece that they could send me for a good price. And the same with the front driver's seat support. They can send me half of that up to the boat, up to the tunnel. Or even if you've got a whole one. <laughs> but I don't think I need a whole one, to be fair. I can repair what's what's there and clean all that up so it's actually like that end piece i need so if i can get an end piece to that at a good price that'd be great and the end piece for the back one here that'd be awesome as well but where i'm sat now this part here it seems to be the best part in here no rot all up here is good um it seems to be the driver's side. I would say that at some point this car when been sitting has uh, probably flooded like the old floor was covered in water for a long time because yeah it's pretty bad. With the holes in the bulkhead all the water would have came in through there and just sat there and then obviously filled up. So yeah. Oh, but this car's definitely getting saved. So anyone who subscribes will be seeing the progress. If, if you want to, that is. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want it. It'll just be very helpful. I'm new to all of this YouTube filming like this. But hopefully it'll be a lot of fun for you viewers out there. So I think at some point I've got to take the headlining down as well because the roof supports either come unstuck from the roof because there was a big dent in it where someone it looked like someone had jumped on it. And if I believe right, those roof supports are glued on. So it's probably bent it. Or it's rotten and fell off. And at some point as well, I've got to empty the boot out. Because I've, I've got um, my Cortina, there's some Cortina parts in there that's off this car originally. And also I need to find a steering column 
and the steering knuckle bit that attaches to the steering rack. So I've got to find them bits as well. I... These door cards are going to need some work. The pockets at the bottom are actually tearing off, are falling off. I don't know what my chances are of getting blue door cards like that. Hopefully I can find something. Or, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now, start packing up, and get this video up for you guys. To show you the progress. And don't worry, I will not be getting put off this Cortina. It's happening 100%, and I'm going to share it all with you guys. She's going to be driving, and you will see her driving. Because... Eventually, she's going to be doing a meet-up with Jamie at Retro Rust YouTube. He's also doing a Ford Capri that sat next to this. And that's both rotting together. And we will be doing a meet-up when both cars are done. And photo shoots. So, it's definitely getting done, 100%. Nobody can put me off. Once I start something, I finish it. So, thank you for watching. And... Oh, hopefully I won't fall through the floor. And this is where I'm at. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.